Hello, how to solve this exponential equation? This is 2 raised to the power of square root of t equals 1 divided by 8 raised to the power of t. Solving for all values of t that satisfies this equation. Now, I can start it this way. If you have a divided by p raised to the power of c, this equals a power c divided by a power c. So, applying the same thing here. Half to the power square root of t equals 1 power t divided by a power t. And what you should also note is that 1 raised to the power of t equals 1, irrespective of the value of t. For instance, if you insert t equals 0, you have 1 power 0, which is 1. If you insert t equals 10, it will be 1 power 10, which is also 1. Any value at all, even the negative values, you still have the same thing. So, irrespective of the value of t, this will give us 1. That means, what do we simply have is saying it's just 2 power square root of t equals 1 divided by 8 power t. Now, remember, if you have 1 divided by a to the power of n, this equals a power negative n. Right? Because this one here in this law, you take it and have this negative here. So, 2 power square root of t is the same thing as this equals a power negative t. So, from here, the bases are different. So we need to ensure that the two bases are the same. So to achieve this, we need to express this 8 in terms of 2. So 8 is just 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 power 3. I have 2 to the power of square root of t equals 2 power 3 raised to the power of negative t. Now, also remember, if you have a power x to the power of y equals a. So, this is sy. Now, I'm applying that here, 3 times negative t, that is negative 3t. We have 2 power square root of t equals 2 power negative 3t. Consider this also, if you have a power x equals a power y. When the pieces are the same, you compare the exponent, and you have x equals y. So right now, this is root t, this is negative 3t, we have root t equals negative 3t. So what you are going to do would be to take the squares of the part of this equation. So, this eliminate this, we have t equals for this, we need to distribute the exponent to each of the terms here. We have negative 3 power 2 times t power 2. So right now, we have t equals negative 3 power 2, that is 9, times t power 2. So from here, we have t equals 9 t squared. Now, we can decide to solve this in two ways. The first way will be to form an equation. I have 9t squared equals t. I can move this backward. After rearranging this, I move this backward. I have 9t squared minus t equals 0. I factor out t because it's common. 9t squared divided by t. <laughs> this is 9t minus t divided by t. That is 1 equals 0. So, t equals 0, this equals 0. You move this over here, we have 90 equals 1. You isolate t by dividing this by 9, dividing this by 9. 9 eliminate 9, we have t equals 1 over 9. So, t equals 0, t equals 1 over 9. Now, 
That is one way. The other way is to solve this. If you have t equals 9t squared, I can divide this by t. Divide this by t. t eliminate t. I have one here equals. This is 9t squared divided by t. This is to the power of 1. When the exponents are different and the bases are the same and the division sign here, you subtract the exponents. So this is like having 9t squared minus 1. You have 1 equals 9t. You can isolate t, dividing this by 9, dividing this by 9, 9 eliminate 9. You have 1 over 9 equals t. Or rearranging, you have t equals 1 over 9. Look at it here. This particular approach gives us only one solution. Why this other approach gave us two different solutions, which are 0 and 1 over 9? Have you seen that? So, what we can do again will be to verify each of the answers or each of the solutions that we have gotten. We have t equals 0. We have t equals 1 over 9. These are the two different solutions that we have gotten. So, let's check 2 power square root of t equals 1 over 9 raised to the power of t. So let's start with t equals 0. 2 power square root of 0 equals 1 over 9 raised to the power of 0. That is when t equals 0. And like I said earlier on, square root of 0 is 0. So you have 2 power 0 equals d0 here. You can distribute to each of the powers here or each of the terms here. 1 power 0 divided by 9 power 0. Right? Now, also, look at it here. 2 power 0 in number raised to the power of 0 is 1. So 2 power 0 is 1 equals 1 power 0 in number raised to the power of 0 is 1 divided by 9 power 0 is 1. So 1 divided by 1 is 1. 0 has a by the equation, meaning that 0 is actually a very valid solution to this particular problem. And Look at how we got the zero by forming this equation. So let's consider when t equals 1 over 9, the other solution that we got is 1 over 9 here, this other solution. So let's check for that particular solution. We have t equals 1 over 9, 2 power square root of t equals 1 over 9, raised to the power of t. And we are substituting this for t after power square root of 1 over 9 equals 1 over 9 raised to the power of is it 1 over 9? This was rather 1 over 8. 1 over 8. Look at it here. This was actually 1 over 8. So Though the answers will still be the same because we are just having it here. This 1 over 8, not 1 over 9. So 8 power 0 is still 1. Like the, this one is still accurate. Okay, so, but rather than, rather for this one here, this is 8, not 9. This is power t. It's on the original question. So, and our t here is 1 over 9. So we replace this with 1 over 9. 1 over 8 raised to the power of 1 over 9. That is it, right? This is 1 over 8 here. So t is 1 over 9. And so, what are we going to do? Based on this square root, I can have 2 power square root of 1 divided by square root of 9 equals 1 over 8 raised to the power of 1 over 9. So, Square root of 1 is 1, half to the power 1 over square root of 9 is 3. Is it the same thing as 1 over 8 raised to the power of 1 over 9? So, what are we going to do right now? I think we can take the ninth root of this. 2 power 1 over 3 equals 
the ninth root of 1 over 8. Have you seen that? Taking the ninth root of 1 over 8. From here, you have to power 1 over 3 equals, I can solve it as 9th root of 1 divided by the ninth root of 8. And 9th root of 1 is simply 1. This just will give you 1. Right? So, we have 2 power 1 over 3 equals 1 divided by the ninth root of 8. Have you seen that? So, what are we going to do? I think also I can express this back in this other form of 2 power 1 over 3 equals 1 divided by this is 8 power 1 over 9. Have you seen that? Good. So from here, 8 is 2 power 3. I have 2 power 1 over 3 equals 1 divided by this is 2 power 3 raised to the power of 1 over 9. Have you seen it now? From here we have 2 power 1 over 3 equals 1 over 2 power 3 times 1, 3 over 9, 3 divided by 1, 3 divided by 9, we have 3. So we are having 2 power 1 over 3 equals 1 divided by 2 power 1 over 3. So based on this rational law, this is just like having 2 power negative 1 over 3. Because of this one here. So this and this are not the same. So this means that this particular solution is wrong. Sincerely, this solution is, is not accurate based on this question. So the only valid solution based on this particular question is t equals zero. That's what I've gotten. T equals zero satisfies this equation. So guys, that is it. Thank you and goodbye.